Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's viewer requested video, I apologise I didn't copy your name in, but I'm sure you know who you are. In the movie Stealth, the pilot does a high dive to make the bomb go terminal vertically to penetrate an armoured target building. Would this work in real life or in DCS? And would the pilot pass out after the dive and survive? And we've got a link here. So there's some things uh, that we need to dissect before we even go. So the first thing is to make a bomb go terminal. Uh, a terminal velocity of something means the maximum speed that an object will fall at if it was unpowered. So a terminal velocity of, I don't know, a rock, it, you drop it off of a building and at some point it will stop accelerating and it will hit its terminal velocity and it will not go any further. And it's a function of the mass weight of that object and its air resistance. And exactly the same thing for a bomb. You drop a bomb from any altitude, it will accelerate until it gets up to its terminal velocity and then just stop accelerating, won't go any faster. That terminal velocity will depend, will change depending on the altitude that it's at, but we can still consider it essentially a terminal velocity. So what I'm saying is here, you don't need to dive down to make a bomb reach a terminal velocity. You just need to drop it and gravity will do all the work. It will get to its terminal velocity. So the question isn't worded very well uh, and hence we almost threw this one away, but actually it gets a little bit interesting. So let's carry on. Penetrate an armored target's building. So he's saying the building was armored and so he needed to uh, get this bomb faster than the terminal velocity of the bomb by powering it down with this with an aircraft. Uh, to get the penetrating ability to penetrate through this building. Is that a thing? Yeah, completely. So in the real world and in DCS, there are different types of bombs. There are kind of blast frag bombs, which explode on impact, and there are bombs that are specifically designed to penetrate through, say, a hardened bunker, four feet of concrete or something, then explode once it's got through that. So it comes through as a bomb, as a unit, and the thing that allows it to do that is it's KE, it's kinetic energy, essentially it's mechanical energy as well, and therefore the faster it's going the more ke it's going to have the more penetrating ability it's going to have so all of that does make sense in fact the thing this makes me think of most was when they were dropping the grand slams the the big 12 or 20 thousand pound bombs in world war ii they would come down and they had to smash through the big nazi structures huge domes they had to smash through at, or just the ground because they're also known as earthquake earthquake bombs they would punch through the ground you know 50 feet or more through the ground explode from under the ground shake the ground so much and make a bridge fall down rather than actually hitting the bridge. Uh, back to what I was saying, some bombs are designed for penetration, like the GBU-31, I've forgotten the name, but the one with the suffix on it is designed for penetrating, whereas the GBU-31, the normal GBU-31, per se, is not designed for penetrating. Now, the problem we've got at the moment is, in DCS, penetration is not modelled, it's just it's just not modelled. We've, we've done a whole video on it and tested it. It's not modelled in terms of damage, so if it penetrates or not, it won't make any difference in term to the damage model. But what we can safely say due to basic physics is that the speed of the bomb as it hits, impacts the object is going to vary its armor piercing capability. So if it hits the ground at Mach 1, then it will do less penetration ability than if it hits the ground at Mach 2. And that's what we're going to test today. Can we make a bomb impact the ground faster than its terminal velocity if we come down with it, like in this video? Also, we've got here, and would the pilot pass out after the dive? I mean, that's it's not really a proper question there. It depends how hard you pull and stuff like that, but we'll, we'll go and try that out. And let's have a look at the clip, just so you can see where this came from. So it's a bit silly, you can see why we nearly got rid of it, but it is actually quite an interesting bit of physics, I think. One hundred knots to release velocity. Release velocity attained. You can see it pumped through about fifteen floors there. It's interesting. Uh, and then he goes and blacks out, but that doesn't really matter. That's not what we're interested in. First of all, we're going to do a control test. We're going to drop from 50,000 feet odd, just in a normal drop, dropping the bombs up high, letting it, letting the bombs accelerate to their natural terminal velocity, measuring at which, what speed they are at ASL at the terminal. Then we're going to do the same test, but dive down with the bomb to accelerate it past its natural terminal velocity and see what we can make the impact speed stand by. Okay, 12 seconds. Check everything, push and hold.
Bomb away. 60 seconds to impact. Autopilot barometric. That is one high bomb. 50,000 feet or just over that went from RC. Let's see how fast we get it. We've got its, we've got its true speed here and there is no wind. So that is the same as ground or effectively it's going to be the same as IAS at sea level, which is what we're interested in because that's when the bomb hits its useful um, uh, terminal velocity. That's when it's going to be hitting the target. Okay, it's actually going bloody fast, RC. I'm not sure our F-18 can do this fast. How fast is it? It's going supersonic. Oh, yeah. And change yes. of IAS. No. Yep. 900 knots. I don't think our plane's going to do 900 knots, RC. So this is Ew. pretty foobar already. I had no We'd idea. I mean, 82 was uh, so fast. Is this... An I'm SU-33 I'm sure... Or I'm sure... I've got to pause here, RC. I am certain this thing can't be supersonic. How can this push through the sound barrier? Only with its own weight. I just can't be right. I don't know. This can't be right. Valley viewers, let me know what you think. I'm going to have to pause it just as it goes into the ground. Massive lag spike. And wait. Stop. Okay. It's hitting at... It just did start... It started slowing down again. Again, the thicker air and whatnot. But we got to 950. Just over 950 knots. So I'm going to fly over the target now. You see, I'm 24 miles away. Then I'll dive down from as high as I can possibly get. As fast as I can. Drop the bomb. Try and survive, which I probably won't. And see if we can beat 930 knots. 950 knots. This is what I was saying at the beginning of the video. To be honest, you might as well just drop the bomb because gravity will just take it to its terminal velocity anyway. Look at that. There's a little fleet down there. Hello, fleet. <laughs> mm, not really. Yep, 60,000 feet. Okay, valued viewers. Here we go. There's our target. Oh, this is so Hiroshima. Oh, shit. Let's see if I rip the wings off. Who dares? Now, what we're looking for, valued viewers, is to drop the bomb as fast and as low as possible. Assuming that we can get higher than 900 knots, which I think we're probably not going to be able to. We may need to take a Tomcat after this and try again. 27. Pew. What are you dropping at 10,000? No, I'm going to go to 5. No, 10. No, 5. No, 15. No, 10. No, I don't know. I'll see. Ah, I'm trying to get higher than 900 knots. I'm at 700. Ah. Drop and pull and oh, this ain't gonna win well for super cap and, and 1100 knots. Woo! Oh, I'm invincible. That's cool. I'm gonna die. What did your bomb hit at? I don't know. Okay, let's just pause that there. Now, I know that all happened rather quickly and I forgot to turn invis vis invincibility off from last time. But what I managed to do there was to get the bomb <laughs> up to 1,100 knots, if you saw, when I quit the F6. So the first bit is confirmed. Yes, we can get the bomb higher than its natural terminal gravity-based uh, terminal velocity. So that's approved. Although, to be honest, only a tiny bit. And this is ridiculous. You'd never do this. Can we do it now, RC, again, but this time save our jets? Are you not smashing into the ground? Ugh. I personally don't think we can. Um, do you want to try some faster planes? Big, heavy SU with some big, heavy Saturn engines. 47,000. What a baby. What a plane. Never get to ride this thing anymore. It's a real plane. 55,000. So much higher than the F-18. See how high we can get this thing. Target acquired. Going into dive now. See how fast we can get. Ah, uh, we've got to be careful. You're way below me, RC. I'm going to get so much faster than you. I'm passing, RC. Bye-bye, RC. I'm <laughs> super cap. Do you drop it with the trigger, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Right. Watch this. So I've got to drop it and try and survive at the same time, which is... Wow, well, I've already... already... Have much authority. Roger, I'm already faster than I need to be. That's thousand knots. That's... Wait for it, wait for it. Don't panic. Cap is... Drop. Caps bomb out. It's at 1,000. Authorized. I survived. I don't think I got it. Maximum speed. <laughs> right. Maximum I survived. I think what it was, was about a thousand. Okay, I'm gonna pause that there. So the good thing is we survived by the skin of our fucking teeth by five feet. Uh, because it is a, it's an F-63 plane. It's not as modelled as accurately as the others, but it's, uh, um, you know, it's good. It's cool to use for experimentation. I got the bomb 960, so literally seven knots faster than I could got it terminally. What, what did you get yours about a thousand? About the same. And did you survive as well? Yep. Wow. Okay. So ugh, tiny, 
just goes a little bit faster. Tiny proof of concept, but that really was tiny. Let's really spice it up a bit. Let's go for a swift wing Tomcat. Oh, wait, you know what? It was your bomb. I didn't even drop mine. <laughs> well done, RC. I'm very proud of you. Tomcat for the win! Woo! I am so friggin' fast. I am so friggin' high. Friggin' fast, friggin' high, friggin' fast, friggin' high. Okay, I got to 61,000 feet. Target acquired. Diving in. Right. See how fast we can get this bird, RC. Oh, I know it's going to rip its wings off. I know it's going to rip its wings off. 700 knots. Nine hundred knots. Thousand. Eleven hundred. Cap is bomb away, and up I go. One thousand one hundred forty-three, and I'm alive. Sort of, I hope. Oh. <laughs> Am I alive? Am I alive? Am I alive? Am I alive? Uh, I think I'm alive. No. Well, I'm alive. I'm you're blacked alive. out. I'm blacked out. Jesus, that was awesome. What a plane. No wonder everyone loves the Tomcat. Look at that. So powerful. To space, motherfuckers. 56,000. 1,000. I'm going to do a hammerhead. Watch this hammerhead. I'm a hurt! No, I'm not because there's no air up here. I'm just going to fall gracefully. Right to 64,000. That's good. Wait. Mm. I flamed out. I flamed out. And you're going to go into a. And I'm going to go into a spin. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Look at that for a spin. Look at that spin on set. I've got to get relit. Got it relit so I can get out of oh, this. Yeah. Yikes. Air start. Air start. Oh, I can't air start with it shaking like this. Fuck ever being a pilot, RC. This is a stupid job. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh, you're oh. lit. You're not? I see afterburner. Oh, yeah, they came back. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You. Okay, now you're in the last bit. Right, remember our training. So, okay, engines. Asymmetric limiter off. Wait, I can't click it because it's so... Uh, I'm going opposite the spin, so left engine on only. Plenty of time. We've got plenty of time, RC. Rudder with the spin. Nose down. I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, you bitch. Why did I... I thought I was done, so I cut the bloody engine. God damn it, I've just done a bloody video on how to get out of this thing. And now I can't do it. You're in a left. Yeah, you're right. Left. No, I've got an inverted spin. Look at that, I'll see. I managed to get an inverted spin. <laughs> now I'm in a tumble. I am a dead mother. No, I can get it back. 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 Watch this, I'll see. Yeah, super cap. What do you think about that, valued viewers? There you go. That was rather exciting slash worrying. Right, I'm going to pause it there, I'll see. Oh, what a great video that was. So, uh, the F-18 got a little bit of a result. Uh, Flanker didn't really work. This plane, this monster of a plane, managed to accelerate the bomb up to well over 1,100 uh, knots when it hit, so much more penetrating power. Uh, so I'll say that is myth confirmed, although you would be mad to ever want to do it. Mm, hope you enjoyed that and see you later.